Football, going back to the 1960s, replaced religion as our religion. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! Politics have never not been part of football or sports. If you go back to the 1960s, especially in the South, especially in college, football was kind of the last bastion of resisting integration. A lot of schools in the South, University of Alabama, Ole Miss, University of Georgia, didn't integrate their football programs until seven to 10 years after their schools were forced to integrate. And it was very much part of a regional identity that since football had basically supplanted the religion and, and the rest of the country was forcing certain, certain areas to integrate when they were very heavily resisting it, football would be the last place where that resistance could take place. Football has always been a barometer for where we are as far as patriotism or war or uh, civil rights and, and black and white relations. You know, when Whitney Houston sang the national anthem right when we were on the cusp of or going to war with, with Iraq in the first Gulf War, that was an incredible moment of unity, but also of trying to instill this sense of patriotism at a time where we were actually going to war. So the idea that in order to be a good American, you have to be a football fan is a, is a little bit dangerous, but it's something that seems to be pushed in the narrative. It's very much part of the game plan. Up until a couple of years ago, the Department of Defense was had a contract with the NFL where they were actually paying for military flyovers, for returning vets to appear on the field. It really has been a concerted effort to equate patriotism and football. Football and politics share a very keen sense of tribalism. So much of our identity as sports fans is based on how we became sports fans, where we're from, you know, who first brought us into the sport. For me personally, you know, I'm a New Yorker born and raised and so much of a part of my sports identity, my sports fandom is rooted in where I grew up. And I know that a lot of people feel that way too. I think the way that we're viewing football is changing slowly, and that didn't start with uh, anthem kneeling, and that didn't start with Black Lives Matter. That started with, honestly, the cover-up of concussions and of brain trauma and, and CTE. And I think that that was much more slow to take hold, but you do have a lot of fans saying that for whatever reason, whether it's CTE or, you know, uh, Colin Kaepernick or something, that they are starting to change the way that they view, that they view football. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.